Hello NCC Church family, thank you for joining us in the video today. Uh, we're going to answer a question today that was submitted by one of our viewers and the question is, uh, when a person dies, do they go immediately to their final judgment or is there some sort of waiting time or in between time between the time they die and when they receive their final judgment? So it's a, it's a very good question. I think we can give some perspective from scripture and to see what a good answer to that question may be. I'm going to start in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27 and verse 28. So it reads, Just as man is destined to die once, and then after that to face judgment, so Christ was sacrificed once to take away the sins of many people, and he will appear a second time, not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for him. So this verse reinforces a truth that we need to, to know and to recognize, which is that this life is the time that we have an opportunity to decide if we're going to follow Jesus and spend eternity with God, or if we choose not to follow Jesus and spend eternity separated from God. So it reinforces the truth that when we die, when we physically die, when our soul is separated from our physical body, the opportunity for us to respond to God, the opportunity for us to respond and follow Jesus is no longer. So this is our opportunity to do that. So then still the question remains, once that happens, is that the final judgment? I believe that's not, even though our, our opportunity or our destination is very much decided at the point of our physical death, that is not the final judgment. So in Luke chapter 16, we're not going to read all of that, but Jesus tells us there the story of the rich man and Lazarus. And he, he kind of paints a picture of the spiritual world and what that would look like for someone that dies and where their soul goes to await the final judgment. So when he explains in that story in Luke chapter 16, he explains that there is a, a spiritual world sometimes known as the Hadean world and it has two parts. It has one part for those that have followed God in their life and that are going to spend eternity with God. And then it has another part or another section for those who have not followed God in their life and they're going to spend eternity separated from Him. So I feel like the Bible gives us this insight that once we die, our, our eternal destination is decided. But the time that elapses, at least on earth, the way we perceive time between when we die and when Jesus comes back the second time and brings the final judgment forward. So if there is time between those two, then there is a waiting place, a spiritual waiting place as illustrated in Luke 16, where our souls remain awaiting that final judgment. So our our eternal destiny cannot change between when we die and the final judgment, but there is that waiting time as illustrated in Luke chapter 16. So I hope that's helpful. Let's pray together today. God, we thank you so much. We thank you for your love. God, we thank you that this life has so much meaning and purpose because we know that we're living for you and we're looking forward to eternity. God, thank you for making a way for us to be saved and to spend eternity with you. We are so grateful. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.